Shalom. And thank you for joining us at the Hidden Truth Weekly News Review. Brought to you by Geely Inc. Here is where we unveil the truth. What is Posse Comitatus? Can you handle the truth? And now the plain truth. As you've seen on our show, the government at times tells you lies. The deception is historic and continuous. The government needs to be exposed because it cannot be trusted to expose itself. We live in exciting and fearful times. Most of you today are not afraid of big crime or big business or big labor. Rather, most of us are most afraid of big government. All right, folks, there is a lot going on right now. Decisions being made that are unprecedented and will have an overreaching impact on what it means to live in the United States of America. Who could want a government that punishes people for speech, that lets its own agents write their own search warrants, that fights wars just to keep the military-industrial complex busy, that debases all you own by printing worthless money and putting it into the stream of commerce, that gives away more than half the tax dollars it collects, and that, despite express provisions in the Constitution to the contrary, permits the president to lock up whoever he wants and to throw away the key. The president saying he could secretly kill Americans and have bags put over our head and have us thrown into black vans to disappear forever. Or look at the TSA and the airports groping people. Look at the drones in our skies. Look at army checkpoints now, the end of uh, Posse Comitatus. We see the president signing legislation to charge people with felonies if they protest at national security events. You know, people ask, is this martial law? Yes, we've been under a soft form of martial law with secret arrest, warrantless spying, protesters getting beaten up, uh, all of these type of things going on for a long, long time. Now they're telling us torture is good, secret arrest of citizens is good, uh, the government taking over infrastructure. Thank you for joining me today. I'm Kay Bella, and I'm unveiling the truth. Uh, those headlines were in the news throughout the month here, and it's need-to-know information. Um, now, so you say, what is Posse Comitatus? Well, Posse Comitatus was an act that was formed in uh, June of 1878, and under this particular act, under Section 15, Chapter 263, um, it states, Unlaw it is unlawful to employ any part of the armed forces as a Posse Comitatus or otherwise um, for the purpose of executing the laws it also says that they cannot permit any personnel from the Army, Navy, Air Force, or Marine Corps to participate in search and seizure, arrest, or anything else. And no money at all should be allocated to these individuals. So, anybody not adhering under the U.S. Posse Comitatus Act of 1878 are subject to punishment for... Um, up to two years in imprisonment and a $10,000 fine. And the only exception to this particular rule is if they're, um, if they get authorization from, by the Constitution or by an act of Congress. Now, this is serious because they are employing our military personnel, our men, women, and children, to fight against the American public in the event of civil uprising or uh, civil unrest. And during the Bush administration, um, this secret government was enacted uh, right after 9-11, you know, and that, that's where, that's why we have all these different rules and regulations coming into play and different executive orders coming into play, because there's a secret government governing our government. Now, uh, this particular government consists of from 70 to 150 people, and they all reside underground, uh, and their locations are all across the U.S. It, in the 50s, they were known to be at uh, Rock, Rock Raven Mountains in Pennsylvania and also in Virginia in the Weather Mountains. Now, they are also known, there's other areas that they're um, underground. They, in Colorado, uh, the Appalachian Mountains in North Carolina, and other uh, remote areas that are that's here in America. Now, how do you say how you say are they undermining our, our the Posse Comitatus Act? 
and this is how. This particular act has been undermined by the CFR, the Council of Foreign Relations. Under their particular Code of Federal Relations, uh, Code 32 CFR 5014 states, just simply, it just basically states, martial law depends for its justification upon public necessity. Now that means that uh, if they feel the need for martial law because of an event of anything, a natural disaster or something that occurs that's out of their control, they can then uh, implement martial law without, without our knowledge. But we will know about it. <laughs> wow. Isn't that crazy? But if you think that sounds messed up. But wait! There's more! The Violent Crimes Act of 1991 gives the President of the United States additional powers to, uh, which allows him to suspend our Constitution and our constitutional rights for any reason, but the reason that they put is for a drug crisis. Now, a drug crisis can be anywhere from uh, lack of medication and uh, there's pestilence out there and the epidemic and they need to get uh, law and order in the area or there's a civil unrest um, or it's a nuclear disaster. Now, this also allows the president to uh, implement and construct um, detention centers which is AKA concentration camps and I know that you all are aware of what concentration camps are. They're the camps that the Judaism Jews um, went to uh, and they were burned alive, Auschwitz and, and uh, things like that. They, un they endured that and it was six million Jews that lost their lives. It was such a tragedy. Now, they also can um, seize our property as well as have military control of the heavy populated areas. That's why it's important that you become more self-sufficient so that you can uh, not be in the heavy populated areas and are producing your own electric and uh, your own water and food for that matter and fuel. Now, this means that they can take over all forms of transportation, they can seize communication, they can control media, they can take over our electrical power, our gas, our food, whatever it takes for us to survive, they will control. And um, under Executive Order uh, 11490, and that's for uh, the Government Preparedness uh, Act, where if there's a natural disaster, a nuclear uh, explosion, or anything, an EMP, they will, there's different government agencies that will be in charge of implementing different things in our life. And so that just basically the separation of powers is no longer applicable. And the only thing between us and dictatorship is a lack of a severe enough crisis to take us out or to make us submit to the government hand in, hand in mouth waiting for our handout from them. I'm just telling you, it, it would be in your best interest to look over these executive orders and know that it's only a matter of time before they create a false flag so they can truly implement uh, full scale their one world agenda and one world government. This is Kay Bella signing off for Unveiling the Truth. Be blessed and Yah. Shalom. Thank <laughs> you.